how to authorize your API credentials on the Data Productivity Cloud. The Data Productivity Cloud API supports bearer token authentication. To authenticate with an API endpoint, you need to provide a token obtained through API credentials created in your Hub account. In this video, we'll walk through this process. To generate the token, first you need to generate API credentials through your Hub account. First, log into the Hub. Click Manage on the left side of the window. Click API Credentials in the submenu. Then click Set an API Credential to begin the process of creating a new client ID and client secret. Give your credential set a descriptive name. Click Save to create the client ID and secret. Copy the secret immediately and store it somewhere secure, as you are not able to view the secret again after this point. If you do not copy your secret or you lose it, you will need to delete these credentials and create a new set. The secret window will close automatically after this point. Also, take a copy of the client ID, which you can do by clicking here. Now the credentials are created and copied, we can use them to create an access token using an API platform such as curl or postman. In this example, we'll use postman. Copy the curl command from the API authentication documentation page and paste it into a new post request. This will populate the header and body section with all the required parameters. Under the body section, the client ID and secret we copied earlier are now required. Enter them into the corresponding value fields. Once you've entered these, click send on the request. This will generate a response, including your bearer token. The response will be a JSON object containing the access token. Copy this token and it can be used to make requests to the API. In this example, we'll use it in a request to get a list of your Data Productivity Cloud projects. We can test the authentication by using the pipeline execution API reference section on the documentation site. A link to this will be in the video description. On this page, scroll to the project section. Click the padlock icon and paste the bearer token. Then expand the project section and click try it out and then click execute. This will generate a response and your data productivity cloud projects will then be listed. For more videos about the data productivity cloud, subscribe to the channel. And for more information on everything covered in this video, please visit the Matillion documentation site.